And that's why I think people can live together. Mm -hmm. I've seen this happen. Right. Live together happily, 7, 12 years, mm -hmm. 15, 20 years. Right. And then they decide to get married, have the ceremony, <laughs> get the dress, <laughs> and within that year, they're divorced. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. How? I've, I've seen it happen. No. This is the Thing Is podcast with Natural Ghana Girl, coming through with in depth conversations about love relationships, breakups, divorce, and diverse experiences. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Thing Is. Today I'm going to have a really, really deep, great talk with Tia. Hi Tia. Hello. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. So today I want us to talk about love. I know that sounds airy-fairy. Don't turn off, okay? <laughs> I know that sounds airy-fairy, but I want us to really go into the depths and the understanding mm. of what love is. Because I know when you ask most people what is love, right? They're going to start with love is patient, love is kind. Okay, we know that, yeah. But mm. what really does love mean? Do you need love to marry somebody, for starters? Does yeah. that is that an requ a requirement? So I think mm. marriage, there's, there's ways of defining marriage okay. that I think would make it so that you have more than one answer. Okay. I'll start with that. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. That said, I think if we're talking about um, the type of marriage that I've entered into, uh, <laughs> smart to Tim. That our uh -huh. faith is, is a part of it, mm -hmm. what we believe, um, and the purpose of our relationship, mm. I do believe love is a requirement. Okay. I do think that for other people and for some folks in relationships, their mm -hmm. goals for marriage, their view of marriage, their worldview, mm. um, and their faith or lack of faith make right. it where, yeah, you, you can get married without love. Mm. And then we're, you know, defining love itself, I think, right. is is okay. why we're, what we can talk about. <laughs> okay. There's so much to talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so do you think there is a fine line between loving someone and feeling emotionally attached to the person? Because I feel like it's a fine line. I feel like it's easy for a person to meet somebody else and you start talking and you build a connection, right? Mm -hmm. And to mislead yourself into feeling that I'm in love. Because sometimes people say I'm in love way too quickly. Yes. And it's yes. like, no, you're just in a phase where you're attached to this person. The person is giving you something that you require at that time and it's satisfying something. But that's not necessarily love. Do you believe that there's a fine line? I believe there is a fine line mm. because you mentioned it, your emotions. Yeah. I think it's easy to feel... Mm -hmm. um, feel lovely feelings because of how mm. someone's treating you right how you see them how you're feeling mm -hmm. what you ate for lunch <laughs> <laughs> all those things right where mm -hmm. um you might be feeling more positively towards someone right and so then i do think that that can be misconstrued as you said mm -hmm. um as love right uh, being in love with someone mm -hmm. um i think depending on how the person is towards you as well. The person yeah. is receiving the attention, mm -hmm. the affection, whether it's game being played mm -hmm. or, um, you know, someone who's just a genuinely kind, mm -hmm. respectful mm -hmm. person who looks you in your eyes when they yeah. talk to you and smile. Yeah. And <laughs> they light up when you walk right. in the room. Mm -hmm. That, of course, can turn on in you some sense of, um, yeah, love, mm -hmm. feelings, etc. So I do think it's a thin line. Mm -hmm. And then I think being in love yes. and loving someone, mm -hmm. the kind of love that I think is required for a healthy marriage mm -hmm. is then a, two different things altogether. Okay. That's interesting so, that you say that. Okay. Yes. So let me ask you, were you in love before you got married? Yes. I okay. was in love. How did you know you were in love though? Before we got married. How do you know that? That was love. So and not attachment. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I was, you know, I was older. Mm -hmm. I had gone through some, not a lot, but enough relationships to kind of deal with the feelings, the emotions. Mm. And I'm a pretty emotional person. I, uh, I'm a yeah. huge, you know, feelings person. Mm. So um, I knew that I was attracted. I knew that 
I was interested and we enjoyed each other. Mm. He made me laugh. Mm-hmm. He made me feel like uh, he was interested in me. He was pursuing me. He was honest. He was intentional right. with his uh, conversation mm-hmm. and all these things. So I, I was able to allow my emotions mm. to not, uh, I wasn't, I didn't need to talk down my emotions. Right as our relationship progressed mm. I was able to say how I'm feeling yeah. makes sense because of how he's treating me what I'm seeing about his character mm-hmm. when we're talking about our values and right. our, our passion our purpose mm-hmm. things line up mm. and so it was that sense of like things are all lining up well mm-hmm. so I feel yeah. excited I feel lovely I'm being made to feel that way it's, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna let myself because it's so you let right yourself thing. fall in love in in essence yes I didn't keep my, so as uh-huh. a single as a every <laughs> woman uh-huh. there it was easy for me mm-hmm. to see Okay, this guy, he's interested. He, he's speaking to me as if he's interested in me. Mm-hmm. But look at by the looks of it, he also seems a little what we would say these days thirsty. Like he's he's, <laughs> he's pushing it. So why right. is he pushing it? Okay, right. he either is trying to mm-hmm. get me to a place to kind of give right. him something. Mm-hmm. Um, Mm-hmm. Which is usually, you know, at yeah. that stage in life, it was usually the case. Mm-hmm. Um, or he's just there, there. Might be something wrong with him where he's he's trying to make there be more there than there is. Mm. Though I knew that from maybe first or second conversation, right? Because he was saying things that I wasn't hearing from any other men. Mm-hmm. Because he was giving me attention and right. telling me that I was his angel sent from God. And oh he's so yeah, happy he oh, met such a talk. special woman. Like <laughs> those things. Like, although I knew it was game, yeah. I also felt like well it's nice to hear mm. oh, do you feel like women need a little bit of game we, to help them we, we towards do. the love I think we we respond to it mm. and we appreciate mm-hmm. right we appreciate being um, we take care of ourselves normally. Yeah. We, we, we do the we do our hair we do our makeup mm-hmm. as a woman who's not married or not in a relationship if no one's mm-hmm. but your girl if no one but your girlfriends are giving you compliments <laughs> about it right and it can feel a little yeah. like mm-hmm. not that you're doing it for anyone else yeah it's just that added mm. sense of yes you're right. seeing me right and so when it does come from a man mm-hmm. um who happens to appear to not be in a relationship mm-hmm. um happens to appear to not be uh, mentally unstable or <laughs> all those things that you yeah 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 that's, that's, that's a, reality it's though a reality. yeah 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 then you yeah you do enter entertain things mm. and I think it's how God built us I believe it's a part of how we're made as mm-hmm. women um, and so I think it is important I think okay. we yeah we we are emotional so how do you also know that I know you don't like this word but lust how do you know <laughs> that it's not that because there is we have that thing right hey. you meet someone I mean it's there like hey something's in there. do you know what I mean <laughs> that's a part of how we were created too mm-hmm. and for me I think even with the emotional piece if you give anything time yeah it allows you to see I think what tends mm-hmm. to happen is we make decisions too quickly right um but if we give anything time mm-hmm. it allows kind of the truth to unfold our us to wake up and realize yeah it was that sandwich I ate yesterday right. that had me looking at him and thinking yeah mm-hmm. um, crazy entertaining right. nonsense mm-hmm. um, so I think that's part of it so time right. and then especially when it comes to sexual attraction yeah or um, being physically kind of uh, mm-hmm. less like thinking of someone on more on the physical level yeah then because maybe you don't know a thing about them what mm-hmm. they believe how they you know yeah. you know them well enough to mm. say that you're you know that you have a connection yeah. Yeah, attachment yeah. Mm. but you know you, you see a picture of that body in your mind <laughs> and, and you, you, yeah. you know that, that, mm-hmm. that level of attraction I think part of it um, I think yes give it time mm-hmm. honestly I know my body and I know most women's bodies mm-hmm. I mean there there's even cycles to how yeah. our bodies respond to mm-hmm. different things it's right. how we how we are made yeah how we're created mm-hmm. I think it's a part of everything a purpose yeah that yeah. said I think yeah give it give it a few days weeks even mm-hmm. sometimes and living in the U.S. I will say winter time fall fall <laughs> autumn is in the air uh-huh 
as an unmarried woman, mm -hmm. especially in the places where, you know, the, the season would change, you would feel the nip in the air. You right. start wanting to kind of yeah. cozy up an in extra the coat. body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, where is the man to put his arm around right. me? Right. And have his coat when I feel that chill in the air. So mm -hmm. for me, it was even like an annual, okay, Tia. It's that time of year. Right. <laughs> Stay strong, girl. <laughs> hey. Um, so, again, I think, yeah, sometimes it's just a matter of time. And, mm. yeah, self-talk. Yeah. There's a saying. They say that the birds can fly around your head, but it's up to you whether you allow them to lay a Make nest, a nest. Or, right? Yes, it's true. Yeah, and I think that's very true. I, mm. think, I think for women, obviously, we're both women, so I think we can only speak on that side. Uh -huh. I think sometimes we can allow our thoughts to sort of run away with us too much. And we create these fantasies worlds right <laughs> it sounds crazy but we create these fantasy worlds we're all like oh yeah then when we get married he's gonna open the door for me every time I get home and it's gonna be like this and then we let it run away further and further and further and that's love to us almost it's true we we create a picture of what could be yes and we apply it to sometimes what we're being told mm -hmm. right i do think I, i've experienced it enough and i've had conversations with my male friends mm -hmm. including tim tim right. talked a lot about this kind of thing <laughs> where men mm -hmm. do know some men do know that their female friends mm -hmm. um are like a um, low hanging fruit when it comes to the male ego and being able to always have that friend mm -hmm. who if you call her and tell her you're hungry mm -hmm. she'll invite you over cook you a good meal mm -hmm. let you lay your right. head on her lap while you friends are yeah. watching a movie mm -hmm. um, when you go out on a date and mm -hmm. you call her just right. to let her know how and on the other end of the line mm -hmm. the woman yeah. and we're women again so yeah. we know mm -hmm. there's a level of I know we're friends now. Yes. But when he wakes up and realizes <laughs> that right, I'm here, right. hey, that I am the one who right, for, right. finds me. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a level of, uh, I think, platonic friendship mm -hmm. that sometimes I, I think men have to, I, I know men mm. who have kind of taken a responsibility to help yeah. their female friends Mm -hmm. kind of manage that emotional piece and right. they won't call her after 10 mm -hmm. and talk to her about how her day went and how his day right. went because they know yeah. I know I'm, I'm not feeling her like that she, she mm -hmm. ain't never going to be more than a friend to <laughs> me now if she wants to go there and right. do more mm -hmm. we can do more but we right. won't be more mm -hmm. um, when a man knows that then I do think some men do take a level of mm -hmm. leadership responsibility yeah. as friends to say you know, let me help her guard her heart mm. and um, not do some of those yeah. things that she'll mm. interpret as attraction yeah. or, oh, he held the door open for me. And overthink things, oh, right? Because we'll do it. Yeah. Like you said, we'll do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it to hey, another and level. He's like so far from thinking of us yeah. that way. Mm -hmm. But what he's doing is, again, giving us that attention, that maybe we again, want. That, that hug and that kiss yeah. on the forehead. Oh, yeah. Woo! I have one friend. <laughs> Hey, he was tall. He knows. Oh, he yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would kiss. I mean, all and every mm -hmm. girl, every right. shade of the rainbow thought that but he was, woman, yeah. he, he was into her. I right. Said, no, he, he's not. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But that was his way. Praise mm. the Lord. He's, he's married now. And yeah. He's <laughs> good, good, good husband. So good father, now. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just... I think sometimes I've been okay. So I've been having some really interesting conversations over Instagram. Anytime I post anything relationship, right? Hey. Guarantee you my DMs, right? Someone wants to challenge me on something all the I'm time. Sure. Yes. Every single time. Today I was having a very interesting conversation with a guy and we were talking about um, how women see themselves and how they want a guy who is almost like top 1%, right? Okay. But yet the woman doesn't necessarily match him. Now, from the, the woman's perspective, she feels like, well, I'm, I'm a 10, so, you know, I've got everything that he needs, mm -hmm. so, you know, I can, I can have him. Now, from the man's perspective, he's looking at it like, well, actually, I'm established, I'm wealthy, I can actually pick any woman that I want. Yes. And therefore, okay. if you can't match me, I have the advantage over you, so I can choose whichever woman I want. I don't have to remain faithful to you because I can have my pick of the 20 other women that are out there. Mm. And so we were kind of going back and forth, and I was like, I was saying to him, from my perspective, it's 
how a woman feels about herself, right? So she's almost devaluing herself in some respects to mm -hmm. allow that. But then there's also the side where I feel like people are more open to polygamous relationships now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> that mm -hmm, said they something. Are. Yeah. They are. And I was like, that doesn't work for me. Like, I'm not down with that at all. Mm -hmm. But from his, he's a guy and he was telling me some stuff that maybe was a little bit uncomfortable for me, mm -hmm. but I could also understand it because he's saying that he can pick, he's established, he can pick whoever he wants, right? Mm -hmm, and so therefore, if he's got 20 women that, women that are looking at him because he's in the top 1%, then they have to accept what they're going to give. So he even gave an example of a certain person and said, look, this woman, um, she's a girlfriend. She knows that he also has other girlfriends who he's had children with, and she's perfectly happy with it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that could never be me. <laughs> and he was just like, you're not looking at it the right way. Oh, well, he just, yeah, he was like, the you're right the, way, the right way. And I was like, is it because maybe I'm very old school? So I believe on a, in a one on one relationship and there's that dedication there. Or are we now moving to a society where polygamous relationships are the way forward? I don't know. So I think I think there's there are levels to it. But I think mm -hmm. the easiest thing in my mind is. It's easier. Mm -hmm. It's easier to have options. Right. And to not work on what it looks like to have a committed relationship with one other person. Because mm -hmm. that's hard work. That you right? said, mm -hmm. look, we're going to do this, me and you. Mm -hmm. and we're going to be faithful. We're going to work through life's hard things together. Right. We're going to become... Mm -hmm. We're going to be as best as we can what we need to for each other. We're going to become right. what we need to be. Mm -hmm. um, that takes a lot of work. It's difficult. Yes. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. So the easy way, mm -hmm. to be honest, is to go and do mm -hmm. how your emotions lead you, right. how your body leads you. Right. <laughs> um, and that's what it is. Yeah. To be honest, some of those things aren't healthy. Like yeah. trying to manage yeah. five dysfunctional relationships, that's not healthy. But it's all these women know about each other. But managing it and mm -hmm. even the personal, what that does to you, as you mentioned, yeah. your own self-worth, etc. There's mm -hmm. that level of it. Mm -hmm. But the truth of it is the treasure of a marriage mm -hmm. that is committed, right. that you, what you experience after you know that this person, you have mm -hmm. fought to stay married as one, right. one couple used to say struggle to stay married mm. for, at that point for them it was like 20 years right um like you don't it, you don't get to experience that unless you unless you commit it's to it so for me I, I think of people who make it to the olympics mm -hmm. it's not a huge percentage of people out in the world yeah. right but the people who commit themselves to the training, mm -hmm. to the sacrifice, mm -hmm. yeah, hey, to the injuries, yeah, and to yeah. the healing, mm -hmm. and all these things to to make it to the Olympics, mm. let alone win, yeah. You can say what you want to say about being a uh, you know running mm -hmm. like I do every now and again up and down the road. Yeah, where I, live. Yeah. <laughs> I could say that that's enough, mm -hmm. but I'll never know yeah. what it feels like to mm -hmm. be standing on a podium and have won a gold medal. Right? right? Yeah. And feeling now we all, we all talk about how that's a letdown because mm -hmm. you're you're chasing after success. But all that to say, mm -hmm. the experiences that come from the hard faults, mm -hmm. uh, relationships right. that we work on, even. For me, thinking of healing mm -hmm. for yourself, yes. healing with yourself enough to mm -hmm. realize why do I need mm -hmm. relationships yeah. with so right. many other people? What's yes. in me exactly that's keeping me from feeling right. that? You know, I, I just so. don't understand. I don't know, maybe it's me personally, but I don't understand as a woman how I can be okay with my partner knowing that my partner is going somewhere else like i feel like i would hold i would want to hold back on my emotions because i'm scared of getting hurt like yes. maybe he likes this woman more than he likes me i don't know where i stand on 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 the ladder i just feel like i can't be in love with you because i don't want to give you my heart because you, because you can only give your heart to one person. How can you give your heart to five different women? I, I, I imagine you would have to make decisions to, like you said, mm. almost hold back. Right. Um, yeah. And, and create something that works for you. Mm -hmm. um, and for some women with different values, different yeah. experiences, like that might be less difficult. Mm. Um, but to me, for me, something I'm just not interested in right it's like um, um again right. I, I believe that mm -hmm. our marriage my husband mm -hmm. the person i married 
ex- exceptional. I just shared this with him yeah. and our therapist mm-hmm. and friends mm-hmm. within the last week. Like right. exceptional when it comes mm. down to so many things. Yeah. We are married and we have struggles. Mm. We have victories. You will. We have two different people. We're right? two people. Trying. Right. We're two people. Yeah. We would be by if I was by myself mm-hmm. for a week. Right. I would have issues with my, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. I would have conflict with myself. Right, yeah. So when you bring mm-hmm. someone else in the mix that you're trying yeah. to understand, who has a different perspective, mm. who is going to challenge you because hopefully they have some differences that help right. you all be stronger mm. together and complement mm. one another, then it, it's not going to be easy. Yeah. So all that to I, say, like, yeah, I mean, it can be easier mm. to just be able to, like, you know what, today you're not my flavor. I'm going to go down the road to, <laughs> I'm not doing to, it. to this school <laughs> and, and see if that, and I yeah. mean, it's easier yeah. to be honest. Yeah. It's filled with much more uh, complexity mm. and I think consequences and difficulty. Right. Children mm. having to deal with. Right, right. I mean, so I, yeah. I don't think it's easy all the way, but I yeah. think in terms of choices you make, mm. it, it can feel easier. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it must be very, very I, I can't imagine the psyche you'd have to have behind that. Hey. Because when you get married, right, you almost tailor yourself to this person, right? Mm. You ha- There's an understanding of certain things like... When you put the tins in the cupboard, make sure they face forward. Don't turn them to the side. Like you've gone through all of that. Now you've got another wife who's like, don't turn the tins forward, turn them this way. And do you have to remember that? Like, I, I, I don't know. I feel like maybe it's just as different. I don't know. I think, okay, when it comes to those things that I do think frustrate us a right. lot in our relationships and marriages, but those aren't the deeper things, mm-hmm. right? That's very um, low, low level. Yeah. Very low level. Yeah. I think, especially for men, I mm-hmm. don't uh, no, Let me just stick with women. I, yeah. <laughs> let me say generally, uh-huh. it's the harder stuff of like this person who I love and who I'm committed mm. to or who I thought was the one, let's say if you right. start there, they're not responding to me the way that I imagined mm. they would. Right. Like they promised they would. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just doesn't feel like it, this feels too yeah. difficult to imagine that I'm stuck with this. Right. So right. I can see where, especially at that point with the mm. real stuff, when it's, you know, I always say when you get quiet at night yeah. and you're not trying to impress anyone and you're not, when and, the you, and, you just, yep. and you're just, it's mm-hmm. you and your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Then that piece of like, yeah, it, you know, there's someone mm-hmm. who who can feel that particular spot for me. Yeah. Now, when you know who that someone is, mm-hmm. and it's not the person who you're laying in bed with, yeah, and you have a value system mm-hmm. that lets you think it's okay mm-hmm. to to go to that bed and yeah, then, yeah. Then again, I I don't. It's not okay. I don't condone it, but mm-hmm. I understand as again a person in relationships, and again the heavy. I think. Marriage relationships particularly Mm -hmm. have a level of, um, I would use the word sacred, like a sacredness to them, a a, a real spiritual Mm. significance that makes it Mm. more, I don't, I don't, I don't even use the word difficult, but it makes it more weighty. It makes it so the choices you make are more Mm -hmm. important and impact more. Yeah. And that's why I think people can live together. Mm -hmm. I've seen this happen Live together happily, seven, 12 years, Mm -hmm. 15, 20 years. And then they decide to get married, have the ceremony, (laughs) get the dress. And within a year, they're divorced. How? I've seen it happen. No. And I, I part of what, what was it? What 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 happens? You know what I think. I again, I think part of it is the institution itself carries more than right. we think, more than we see, mm. and I, that's what I believe. And right. I, and so I do think that it it makes it where when you enter into that, when you when you have a, a mind to do it, mm. it, it brings in some things that make it more difficult. And then, like you said. The cups, mm-hmm. you know, that for 20 years they've right. turned any which are kind of right. Way. Yeah. But part of you said, uh, there's a, an escape route. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Right. When, when I change, the next person will know. Right. But then if you commit to that person mm-hmm. and then you're, you're able to kind of, in a sense, lock, mm-hmm. lock in yeah. some of the behavior. Mm-hmm. Like, oh no, this is, this is it. This is, <laughs> this is what, <laughs> this is what's this life of mine. Right, does. right, right. Oh, so, mm-hmm. so you're one of those people that leave stuff on the ground. Right. Like, like you don't see it for two weeks. Yes. Oh. Yes. Um, so again, then those marriage. things become. 
bigger, mm-hmm. bigger because it's locked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. But I, again, I do think there's more serious things that mm. enter in. So do you think it's possible to, as you easily as you can fall in love, it's possible to also fall out of love with someone? And does that happen? Again, yes. I think that fall in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, sound, it sounds so whimsical. Like, whichever the wind is blowing this way, then it's hey, this way, then it's this way. You know, like. And I think when you, mm-hmm. when you know it happened that way, you're able to look back and say, no, I was tripping. It was that sandwich. Right. It was, right. The, it was the movie I watched. Yes. It was the movie I watched with him mm-hmm. at 12 a.m. Right. And what happened next that mm-hmm. made me think. Yeah. So I think when, depending on how it starts as mm. love, I think, yes, it's, it's very easy to kind of the same way you fell in it, fall out mm. of it. That said, when I mentioned the difference between being in love mm-hmm. and love, right. and capital L mm-hmm. is what I like to say. Yeah. I do believe there's a there's a type of love. There's a Greek word, agape. Yeah. Um, I think it's, uh, and to be honest, I think to try to stay married Mm -hmm. in the way that, again, my faith and and what I desire Mm -hmm. requires, it requires that kind of love. That love doesn't have to be romantic. Mm-hmm. Like I can learn and I did learn yeah. agape love through the type of work I did, um, relationships with family mm-hmm. and pretty much choosing to love someone no matter how they're treating you, right. no matter how they're making you feel. Um, so that's a, agape is a deeper type of it's love, It's a deeper right? love and it's connected to a sense of committedness. Mm-hmm. I'm loving you. Again, it's not about how I'm feeling today mm. or tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's not about how you are towards me. Mm-hmm. And if you're looking at me the right way or if I... <laughs> so, okay, so let me ask you this then. So you're talking about agape love. So you're married to someone for 20 years and you want to get divorced. Mm-hmm. Does that mean the agape love that you had did not exist or agape love can just... What happens? I think some, I think some relationships, I think some people mm-hmm. don't experience agape love. I don't yeah. think they even try. I don't think they're aware of mm-hmm. a type of relationship right. where you don't only give somebody what they give you. Mm-hmm. And if somebody's not making you feel a certain way, right. um, you still keep them in your life. Mm-hmm. So I, to be honest, I don't think agape love is everybody experiences it. Mm-hmm. So I think you can be in a marriage and never have that be part of who you are and what you do. That's very interesting. So there's that. Mm-hmm. And then I think, yes. And to be honest, like I know Tim and I have both chosen to love one another. Like before we got married, that's, that's a, a part huge of, word right there. Yeah. Chosen to and love, we, right? And it's a daily choosing, right? It's a moment mm-hmm. by moment choosing. Right. So I do know that for both of us, there's become, there's come points where it's difficult. Mm. It's like, okay, the choosing today, mm-hmm. this season, right? last year, the year that I was pregnant, mm-hmm. you know, all these different points in our yeah. marriage where we can see that, yeah, the choosing was, is more mm-hmm. difficult. And at the end of the day yeah you choose again right right and yeah. so i think it, you can't get to the point where you decide okay i'm i'm, I'm done choosing love mm. i'm done choosing agape love yeah um right and then, and then the actions follow mm. so so do you feel that people use the word they overuse the word love and don't really understand what it is of course <laughs> i love I yes love, uh coffee mm. with you know cream mm-hmm. i love to mm, watch the movies. Mm. I love Instagram. Like, right. we love the term um, very loosely. So, yeah, I think... So do you think that's what causes people to um, have a breakdown of relationships because they've used the love in the wrong way or they've not understood what love is because uh, we're in a society right where everything yeah. is fast everything's like we're in a microwave society you can call it right uh-huh. so do you think that the word love is thrown around so easily that people have this expectation and think that when they fall in love everything's going to be fine because we have love yes mm. i think i mean the, the, we we definitely um overuse the word romanticize it mm-hmm. Hollywood I size it right Hollywood mm-hmm. um, there's all these 
images and yeah. ideas, songs mm -hmm. that we think of when we think of love. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, sometimes they're, they're, if you listen to it, sometimes mm -hmm. it's like, oh man, this ain't even talking about what I want. But, <laughs> but that beat and that video had, right. me, um, you know, mm. all that to say, I think definitely society, how we're built. Mm. I think again, human nature is, is as it is. And mm. um, yeah, I think we're able to, Again, we can feel so strong. Hey, you can go through something difficult and yeah. the person who happens to be on your side mm -hmm. in that season, the way you see them mm -hmm. changes. Yeah. And all yeah. of a sudden, maybe your eyes are open to an incredible, mm -hmm. uh, supportive, right. maybe now they become fine. Mm -hmm. uh, person. <laughs> but when that season mm -hmm. passes and you heal, yeah. you grieve and you move through it a little bit mm -hmm. and you're able to look and say, you know, you mm -hmm. were a good friend, but mm -hmm. nah, it, it wasn't all that. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I took what was a natural and healthy way of mm -hmm. seeing somebody who's supportive and turned it into love mm -hmm. and a relationship and maybe threw in sex, mm -hmm. which complicates right. things. Right, yes. Um, in, in so many ways, right? Mm -hmm. Some people think it simplifies things, but... Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and so then it, it makes it, again, where the, the I think there's, like, emotional connection. Mm. You know, once you add in different levels of intimacy, yeah. then it can make it more difficult to see, like, no, mm. this really... This person really was meant to pass through my life. Right. But... The attraction mm -hmm. made me entertain more than I should have. Mm. Me being lonely, it being autumn. Right. And now, so five years sense. later, I can see that I'm in a relationship mm -hmm. that, that really, you Does know, is sense. empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Mm. so, when you meet someone, do you believe that sometimes you may not necessarily find someone initially attractive right uh -huh. the more you speak to them the more you get to know them their face almost changes to you right true yes and there's a different type of attraction do you think that that can you can take that relationship to the next level having not necessarily been attracted to the person in the first place yes i do i i do because i've met in my life since, since I was younger mm -hmm. I've seen people that I looked at them and mm -hmm. I said male or female well, yeah. she's beautiful right oh wow look at him he is wow mm -hmm. he's gorgeous mm -hmm. and their attitude and how they were towards mm -hmm. people and the way they were right I mean like literally they became instantly yeah unattractive right um mm -hmm. they're Spirits and their behavior, their mm -hmm. attitudes were ugly. Right. And it, I couldn't switch it off. Once yes. you learn right. that about someone, right. then it's like you can look like you want to on the outside. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, I think the flip side, right, mm -hmm. is that some of the dearest people that you'll have relationships with, yeah. you don't even see how they look, right? It's right. like, I just know this person is honest, mm -hmm. they're loving, mm -hmm. and they're some of the best people to me. I can trust them. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Mm hmm I do think, right, <laughs> as adults, yeah. if you're talking about first attraction yeah. and, and sometimes what it takes to start a relationship mm -hmm. um, to kind of get over that initial, I don't know you from Sam, right. pump, mm -hmm. um, I, to be able to do that without attraction does take connection. Mm. It takes more opportunities to get to know someone. And yeah. this is where I will say men mm -hmm. who are physically you know if, if there was a poll and most people would right. say they're physically unattractive mm -hmm. this is where i all i, I <laughs> to write a book about it too, mm -hmm. but there's a part of it where i'm like men who are there who are confident in mm -hmm. themselves and realize that women are open like right. women are willing to see in like connect yeah. with you to see who you are right now, some women now some mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. but for right. the most part good women yeah who are going to i think make supportive partners mm -hmm. if, if the man can just uh you know take the courage yeah. to step to the woman hey that's what I'm saying. So when we see it, right, right we see a, a woman that to all everybody looks like a super 10. Right. With a yeah. guy that everyone's like, now how did this Yeah, happen? yeah, how did yeah. that happen? And what mm -hmm. I always think of is just like he 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 was confident in who he was. Yeah. And it took a minute to mm -hmm. 
you know, put himself out there. Yeah. Face rejection, which all men yeah, yeah, yeah. are able to do, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Um, sometimes women don't give him a chance. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, supposed to hit something. Hey. Right now. <laughs> but I, and, and the truth is, not all women, right, who are in a relationship with somebody mm. who, who doesn't seem to fit with them, they're doing it for good reasons. So right. all those mm. complexities. But I do think there's a level of being able to connect with someone mm. on a friendship level, yeah. on an interest level, value mm. level. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the end of the day, if you can show someone that you care about them yeah. and they can see your heart and, you know, mm. it, it, it does help. Mm. Yeah, I, I've seen it. I yeah, it's true. I just just wanted to throw that in there because I just I just think sometimes it ain't easy. Yeah, because I think sometimes when it comes to relationships and you know potentially mm. dating someone, sometimes I think we go off the attraction thing way too much in the beginning. Mm. I'm not saying I'm not guilty of it sometimes, uh-huh. but you know, like we go off it way too much and we give it too much importance. And actually, it's not just about that. It's about what the person has to offer to complement your life, right? Yes. And we don't look at that enough sometimes. And I think sometimes we we look at we look at guys and we say, but mm, is, is he on my level? Is he not on my level? And we immediately characterize people into where we think that they stand on the the beautiful and not be so uh-huh. beautiful you know ladder the, the mm-hmm. uh, how much they're making right the right scale, right um, mm-hmm. scale and all so many things yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and women also look a lot of women do look for men that are financially going to be comfortable for them too yes. right and that yes. also adds a layer of attractiveness to the person let's mm-hmm. be honest it it's does true. but that's not the be all on the end all of everything it can't be it's, i even tell someone it's fine uh, you can see the, the person can see the the other mm-hmm. like, it's men women right who's making enough money mm-hmm. then, what if they don't want you to touch their money right <laughs> they're one of those people who's like what's mine is mine right what's yours is yours that is if you spend all your money right yeah we married and yeah, it's prenup. Right. Like, you have that. That's a real that's, that's real so... talk. That is real talk right there. Yes. There is a generation of people that uh-huh. are like no, because when it's I got true. married, I was like, okay, it's one bank account. It never crossed my mind to do anything else. Mm-hmm. Now people are getting married and like, this is my money, that's your money. Do you know what I mean? We're separate. Listen, I heard one well, I mean, happy, still married couple. Mm. It was like if he spends all his money and doesn't pay his bills, he better figure it out. Mm. And I think, but don't y'all live in the same house? Right. <laughs> if his the lights are going off, his lights go off, don't your lights go off too, right? But it was kind of that that's how they decided to mm. do it and it, it was working for them. So I just think again, yeah, it comes down to values and mm. so marriage is not even necessarily one way. There are different types of marriage. Right. That's why for some people it, it can float to have yeah. more than one option. Mm. And, but again, that's interesting that's because there are I've, I've had conversations with people and they're like, look, if if I'm dating a woman, if I get married to a woman, right, I'm the one I'm going to pay all the bills. I'm going to do everything. Any money she makes is for her to do whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. And they're happy like that. Okay. Then there are the relationships where the guy's like, now nah, she's got to bring her half. And mm-hmm. I'll bring my half and then we we'll go together. Mm-hmm. And then there's relationships where everything's a free for all. So there is what I'm trying to get to the point of is that there is no one type set of relationship. It doesn't there's not a necessarily a bad version. It's whatever works for you as a couple, whatever you can agree on. And marriage makes it if you're going to do the one mm-hmm. one man, one right. woman, and are you know, two partners, like we gonna do this monogamy, yeah. mm-hmm. then you don't uh, what can I? All of those variables mm-hmm. you got to deal with, right? Maybe you don't match up financially, but mm-hmm. if you committed mm-hmm. to stay married and to do, you got to figure it out. You got to yeah. work out some kind of way. You got to come to some kind of agreement. You mm-hmm. can't say I ain't married to you, so we don't have to talk about. It. No, you can't. Yeah, right. Yeah. But mm, that's it makes it harder yeah. to stay married to somebody if mm-hmm. you don't have an agreement in mm-hmm. one area or the other. So I do think that's where. Again, one of those pieces of what makes it more difficult. Mm. Before I got married, mm-hmm. I was able to take the money that I worked for yeah. and do what I wanted to do with it. Right. I could give it away. Mm-hmm. I could save it. Right. I could spend it. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to answer to anybody. Nobody. So yours. But then, to me, the thing that made I had a goal of how much I wanted to annually right. give. Mm-hmm. I had a goal of what I wanted to annually save. Right. Not really. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a huge goals person, but I had a goal in mind 
about how much I should be saving. And right. then the giving one was, was more important to me, to be honest. Mm. Um, kind of an experiment. Right. And when we got married, mm-hmm. that immediately mm-hmm. changed, right? Just like everything mm-hmm. else. I had to, I had to trust, hopefully knew before we got married, right? Which right. I did, mm-hmm. that this person who I'm getting married to has enough of a generous heart, has enough mm. of a way of handling finances. Right. So, so we can't, we can't give this to so-and-so, but you out here and you bought another pair of, Oh yeah. Like, can yeah. you imagine if we'd had that? Yeah. If we didn't talk about it before. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, again, we don't have nobody out buying anything. That's too crazy. <laughs> we, we do match up. I believe right, right. Uh, financially. So it's, it's not an, a huge mm. area of struggle for us, but all that to say, those are the things that, if you don't match up in this yeah. area mm-hmm. and you are choosing, it's me and you. Yeah. Ride or die. Mm-hmm. Okay, but until we die, we got to ride together. Right, so, right. Hey, mm. how, how is this going to look? You yeah. have to talk about it. You got to talk about it again. But sometimes you don't know what to talk about before you get married because there's things that are going to pop up that you had no idea. That's what you're I'm going to discuss. You have to deal with it after. Yes. So that's the challenge. You're that's, right. I'm going to say, yeah. sorry, not to mm-hmm. put you off. No, 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 no. It's, it's absolutely true. So what you can know beforehand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Move past attraction. Right. Have some of the conversations enough mm-hmm. to be able to at least not get married, not be in love for so so long that mm-hmm. you don't talk about those things that. Yeah. Because I feel like sometimes l- love can mask certain things. Hey. You will just paper over it because you feel like, oh, but we love each other. So we'll figure it out. At some stage, we'll mm-hmm. figure it out. It doesn't necessarily work like that. It doesn't. Because you're passionate about that thing. And that person's also passionate about that thing. Yes. And now you have to come to a compromise on it. If you, if you, if you choose to, right, if you're healthy enough mm-hmm. to have conversations and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. So uh, I remember I was sharing at a friend's wedding just as couples in relationships but Mm. definitely marriage you'll have a situation come and it leaves some dust Mm. you can decide to sweep it Mm -hmm. under the rug right Mm -hmm. and keep sweeping small piles Mm -hmm. under the rug right until you have a huge a huge pile pile Mm -hmm. that you don't even know where to start and right and you don't want to Mm -hmm. you look at it and you say you know what yeah yeah yeah, just just get bigger rock Yes. <laughs> Get a right. rug in another house with a right. That's what more people say. Mm-hmm. But you're right. It it makes it difficult. So I think kind of those practices of mm. being able to have healthy conversations with yeah. people, being able to admit when you've messed up. Mm-hmm. The most challenging part, I think, of of our first year of marriage was, I was me. Just about to ask you that. Man, did you read my mind or what? Was me <laughs> me dealing with my personal insecurities. Mm-hmm. And dealing with this sense of, I don't even want to talk about it with myself anymore. I don't even want to deal yeah. with why I, like, I, I had these ideas mm-hmm. and ideals about marriage that, mm-hmm. honestly, we, I thought I was mature and we right. dealt with some of the unrealistic expectations. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what we dealt with, to be honest, it just, I wasn't prepared for it. I I was prepared for a lot, I thought. Mm. I didn't think marriage was going to make me happy. I was happy and mm. living my life oh, you and traveling. Mm. So I knew that purpose of marriage isn't happiness. It's not. Right. Ooh, it's living together. Of, hold on, we have to pause on that for a second. <laughs> the purpose of marriage is not to be happy. It's, it's not happiness. It's not the end goal. It can't right. be. Yeah. I can't expect anybody else to create how can I? Yeah. They're, not in, they're not in control of right. but so much. Right. Now, they can do things to help me have more joy in yeah. my life mm-hmm. and to have happy moments. But mm. I can't imagine that, again, a relationship with yeah. another living, breathing person mm-hmm. um, is going to fulfill a level of happiness mm. in my life. That's like, so I didn't have that misconception. I think a lot of people do. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. And I think absolutely. Hollywood and songs make don't that help. Yeah. They don't help. Mm-hmm. Um, so that said, I didn't think that. I didn't. I wasn't waiting on my husband for me to experience the world. I wasn't waiting on. I, like for me, there was this level of maturity and knowing I found a man who's just as mature and mm. accomplished, and mm. we felt as if we could move together with purpose to right. you know, right. all that. And still, year one, I'm crying and dealing with all. <laughs> that. And so what I realized was what we did experience brought up a lot of insecurities that I thought as an unmarried woman I dealt with years ago. Mm. But what I done was said, you know what? I'm not worrying about that because if I get married one Mm. day, those will be things that 
my husband mm. will um, he'll getting married will almost in essence prove that those things mm-hmm. are not issues like right. it's not it is a lie that I'm believing about myself right right we got married and it felt like oh wait a minute maybe the lies were true because right. of how some of the dynamics mm-hmm. in our marriage that to say again I could see it was my own insecurity mm. my own experiences my own right. past but the easiest way to have dealt with it was to say this man is not making me happy if he was the one, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be sitting here crying. Right. And so mm-hmm. I realized after we got married early on, this is why people get divorced early mm-hmm. because it is difficult. I it's do like happens. my cups turned a certain way. And yeah. why am I letting this yeah. man who's not our woman, mm-hmm. who's not helping me feel any better. Right. Also mess up my cups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's yes. just quickly yeah. mm-hmm. agree to quit while we're ahead yeah so I, I experienced again kind of just this reality uh mm-hmm. reality check mm-hmm. that a lot of marriage is that someone being so close to you intimately yeah in spaces that no one else in the world is gonna hopefully yeah <laughs> enter yeah. in with you right. conversations mm-hmm. uh blind spots whatever um, having someone that close helps you see mm. what's in you that needs. It gives you a mirror, right? It gives you a mirror. Mm. And some of us aren't ready to look in the mirror. Yeah, I yeah. prefer to have the the at a distance mm-hmm. view right. from people. Mm-hmm. So let's just quit the marriage thing yeah. and, and mm. not deal with that. But I could see that. I mm. could recognize that. I don't think all people mm. do. I think again, it's yeah. He he didn't keep his promises. Mm-hmm. He's not making me feel this way. If we loved each other, it should be easier than this, right? Yeah. Um, mm. Hey, the one I was with last year mm-hmm. actually did help in this. Like you right. know, all those things come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's crazy. Long answer, but mm. no, 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 no. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's valid. <laughs> <laughs> so, at what point? As a final question, at what point? Did you realize that for you going into marriage was not attachment, but you were actually committed to this man and you were ready to share love with him? Ooh, so for us, it went from like not taking it, like we're just getting to know one another Mm -hmm. to let's pursue Mm -hmm. marriage or let's go in that direction because we had a conversation and Tim, Mm -hmm. as the man, which I appreciated, Mm -hmm. kind of said, look, this is the direction that that I want us to move in. Mm. And are you this? Is this what we're going to do? Right. So it kind of was like a figure it out. If, mm. this, is, if, if this is what you're going right, to keep right. walking in. Mm. Um, so it was a conversation mm-hmm. that forced me to, I would say, examine my feelings a little bit more. Right. And add to the emotion, mm-hmm. the questions of, well, is this man's value are his values lined up with mine does it seem mm. like i would want to spend my life right with him? right mm. we have great conversations and it's yeah. kind of cute and all but like is this someone that i mm. can see being the father of my children that's also and, very important you know yeah. um <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh do i believe that he can lead a family in the way that mm. i believe my life mm. is meant to the direction at least that my my life is meant to go in yeah so i think again for us it was a matter of a conversation helping me i think the point yeah i think that is the key it's the conversation having those uncomfortable conversations and really digesting what the other person is saying and just put your feelings aside for a second because a lot of us just go by feelings way too much but actually it's let this is real let's let's get to the the, the crux of this thing and for me, mm-hmm. I have at least been in one other relationship where the feelings were strong. <laughs> now, after it ended, mm-hmm. for some time, mm-hmm. just thinking like, just let the phone ring. And right. The right question be on the other side. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're back in it. Right. So I think I, I had experienced enough that the emotion part wasn't enough. Mm-hmm. That my feeling, and even what I wanted wasn't enough mm-hmm. for me to feel confident that I, I was, I, I should commit myself to right. somebody mm. commit to stay in love and to cheat yeah so yeah I that's, think that helped that's Keep very interesting yeah. that's very interesting i think that um the other the opposite of the love is the heartbreak after and i feel like the two emotions are very very powerful they're equally as powerful yes. the love and the heartbreak so you have to choose the right person i should get the heartbreak no one wants the heartbreak <laughs> don't want, don't, we don't want heartbreak so, over here i don't know if you can say this but mm-hmm. within marriage mm-hmm. there are 
Yes. Right. Yes. And that's the challenge. That right? is true. You're committed to this one. Right. Indefinitely. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, yeah, you, you say even with the heartbreak, I'm coming yes. back and I'm choosing you. Yes. Tomorrow. As, as you said, right, every day you have to wake up and deliberately choose that person again. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you won't make it to the other end. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey. hey, I've got some thinking to do. <laughs> yeah, so. no, that's really interesting. Thank you so much for coming on today. Oh. I feel like you've given some really great nuggets there that people should digest. Yeah, I think you've really shed some light because oh, it's not all love with a lowercase L. No. It's not. <laughs> yeah. It helps us make it lasting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. But yeah, no, there's definitely you need to make the distinction between attachment and love. Yes. Otherwise, you find yourself in trouble. So, yeah. <laughs> but thank you again so much for You're coming welcome. on and thank dropping you. those gems for us. I appreciate you so much for taking the time out today. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> any time, any time. Maybe I should have you back with Tim, actually. Hey. That would be interesting, wouldn't hey. it, guys? <laughs> it. Two strong personalities. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Don't forget to also like, comment, and share this video. Until next time, we are out. Nuti Papa. Beware.